Hey folks, Malforn here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Azamandius. Uh, this actually just came out on Steam. It was part of uh, Nextfest, I think, recently, but uh, the, there is a demo for this game as well. So if you like what you see today, you can play the demo for free. And it actually has the tutorial and one of the maps included. So there's quite a lot you can take a look around and, and try before you buy it. It is actually in the Steam sale though. Uh, with I think 20% off at the moment uh, when this video comes out so uh, yeah again you can save a little bit of money if you like what you see but so uh, we're just going to get into it today and I just wanted to show you it I was playing this last night and I just thought it was pretty cool um, it's basically like civilization boiled down into a few mechanics uh, not in a bad way uh, just like uh, you know if you took away all the all the extra stuff um that's kind of like how the game plays but we'll see in a minute and i'll try my best to explain it to you i've only played a couple of games of it so i'm not a master but I, you'll, you'll be able to get the gist of it just by uh, me playing it so anyway we'll do single player so there's a bunch of maps in the demo you just get the near east but i think there's six other maps um that you can play and then this is the entire map these are the nations so yeah we're in the kind of eastern mediterranean um, we can choose who we want to play as. I think we're going to play as the Egyptians. May, uh, maybe, maybe the Egyptians. Well, they are kind of down. Oh, it says they're easy to play. Who's this? The Mycenaeans. Uh, King of the, uh, the Aegean. Heroes leap to their command expansionist. Uh, so yeah, these have different features uh, depending on which one they are. So uh, wealth costs more. Um, wealth technologies cost more, but reduce waste, which we'll see in a second. Uh, flag technology costs less and flags cost less. Interesting. That's actually cool. that is quite expansionist. Um, I think we'll play as Egyptians though. Industrious. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll start as a student. There's a bunch, obviously, uh, modifiers, but we're going to play on. Uh, <laughs> we're going to play on student. We're not going to win this. I'm going to be honest with you straight away. I got absolutely demolished in my last game, but uh, like I say, you'll be able to see how the game plays just from. Uh, me giving it a go so yeah we're down here these are all the nations down here um that you can just quickly have a look at and then these are the four um kind of uh, powers that you have so you have science you have money you have food and then you have power how is how you expand uh science is how you um research things now all the research is do is the tiles on the board they kind of alter the tiles in a certain way to help you depending on what you kind of need so at the moment we're down here obviously in egypt we have a lot of desert we have some grassland we have some rivers and we have some plains i think this is yeah i think this is plains if i remember correctly <laughs> I, i'm pretty sure yeah it is plains so we should focus on on um science that helps us in these areas and um, there's some other things as well but the basics are basically that um so i think we'll focus on planes first because we want to head east and block off uh, this uh, civilization before they come into egypt so flu food makes flags in planes cost less which is important at the beginning because it costs you this to expand your realm so it's actually the one we probably will pick and uh, these are the ones these give you more science per tile that you own this makes you more money per tile of this type. This gives you more food per tile. And then this gives you more power. Power is how you expand your borders. It basically works a little bit. If you play Civilization uh, 6, I think. Yeah, 6. That has um, the kind of like you can push and pull borders depending on how powerful you are. Or maybe it was Civ 5. Someone will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. Uh, I might be wrong with that. But uh, yeah, you push your borders by having power based in tiles and then you kind of fight it out uh, with your armies, which again, we'll see in a bit. Uh, it's probably easier to show rather than tell you it at this point. So we're going to choose this one just because it's going to make us cheaper at claiming these uh, plane tiles here. And I don't think there's any more worth taking one power in planes. Mm, it's probably not worth taking this yet because we're not going to be pushed up against somebody else's border. So this is kind of like a wasted... Um, uh, purchase for now. Oh, actually, no, we can get both of these. Oh, we can make it even cheaper. Oh, okay. Oh, actually, we can get all the way to the top. Didn't realize. So, yeah, basically, this is going to make it almost free for us to claim all these plane tiles. And then money. Uh, we're not going to spend anything on money here because we want to get one of these down here, which is our first army. You kind of want to get this as early as you can because as soon as other people get armies, they can start pushing your their borders out using armies and then they can use them to take your borders uh, later on. So you kind of want an army as soon as you can. Well, that's what I've what I've experienced so far. So that's what we're going to do. Um, how much food have we got? 20. So we should. Yeah, look, these are super cheap now. These are like one and two food to expand. 
where these are 9, 10. These are really expensive. So we're going to take as much of this as we can, and this is going to expand our border. And then when I press next turn, you'll see everyone else have the same thing happen. You'll see them placing their flags. So as you can see, it's a little bit like Civ, but if you didn't have, like, the units, <laughs> basically. And then we will get some units but um, they work a little bit differently as well. Um, so yeah, and then every turn you get one of these cards, which is a opportunity. This gives you a bonus of some kind. Some of them are quite hard to get. Some of them are, you just claim immediately. But uh, so this one gives us salt mining. This gives us three gold per desert. This is actually pretty good for us, especially if we claim more of this desert over here. Or nomadic tribes, research 10 flag techs, and we'll get 10 science, 10 gold, and 10 food that turn. Um... That's not too bad. We've already researched three of them. Yeah, three out of ten. So I'm going to do this one, though, because I think I want them... Oh, no, this is ten money, though. This is per desert. Oh, so, Joe, we'll claim this one. You don't have to use it straight away. You can save it. You can save three of these at a time. So I'm going to save this one, and then we'll, we'll claim more desert this turn, and then we'll, uh, we'll hit this. And then whilst we're here, I'll also show you this. This is the crown system. This is how you basically win the game. I think you can win the game by just destroying everyone else. But outside of that, you basically earn these crowns. And when you have enough crowns, you, you win. And you get them by basically earning these. Um, well, they, they're kind of based on the Great Wonders. Um, I don't think you actually get anything for making these. These are just the requirements to earn these crowns at the top. So, you know, just making the Colossus by having five armies and fleets. Pyramids have 20 population. You'll finish this. So, yeah, they're just like, they just look cool because they're obviously wonders of the world. And then you kind of work towards them. Uh, for earning these crowns. Obviously, these ones at the top are really hard. Have 800 gold, have five captured cities, and then have 18 power technologies. So they're kind of like the really expansionist ones at the top. So there we go. We claim this. Now, what we want to do, obviously, because we picked up this um, salt mining per desert, I think we're going to expand into the desert, although it's really expensive to do so. Well, do you know, for now, we'll claim this. We'll claim these ones because we don't want their borders to push us out of here because then we won't be able to get to um the kind of arabian peninsula here so uh we'll do this for now like i said we're going to save the money i think now we could reduce waste this gives you more things so you can spend uh gold to reduce waste and then you make more of that thing so here it will give us one more science a turn because it's 15 gold now but it would reduce the waste on science in the future and then you can invest it so you can invest one gold uh, into one science or at the moment we're converting two food into, into uh, two gold into food so if we have an excess of food we could lower this then we'd have more money or we could raise this to get more science so i'm kind of tempted to... no 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 we want to get that army as soon as we can so yeah we won't edit this now i'm not sure if that's the ideal thing to do but like i said i'm just kind of showing you the game most of all here today and then these are expansions so they'll probably be able to put down more flags than us every turn i think yeah, they've only put down two. They've put out four. There's going to be a little uh, fight out here as to which one's going to get this claim. So Desert Explorer, you can claim this. You get a free flag to get a bit of desert, which we'll do, because then we get three more gold from this. Or we can claim uh, claim this, and for every grassland we get, we get two food. So I'm going to take this one because it kind of syner synergizes with this top one. So we'll do this. We'll claim one of these desert tiles. And then, do we want to buy another one? I'm going to buy another one. Actually, we'll buy two. So we'll get these three, and then next turn, we'll click this. And we'll get a bunch of gold. We might even be able to get our army super early, I think. 40 gold? Uh, maybe not. But we'll be closer to it than we were now. And then we'll carry on going. I like the like the ding ding as, uh, as people put flags down. I don't know why. When I was playing it last night, it was just kind of like chill, just listening to the tune as it, as it places them all. Place five flags in one turn, you get a flag tech for free. That's actually pretty helpful. Or we can get two food per river tile. We have one, two, three river tiles. That's not a great amount of food, although... Uh, placing five flags in one turn is probably going to be harder, actually. Joel, let's take irrigation. And we'll claim this now. We could wait and do more of this river, but we'll get more food immediately, and then we can expand further. And then you can also play, as you can see here, you can place cities down. This helps because, um, well, having cities gives you more uh, uh, science, I believe, and, uh, and other things. And then it also, the biggest benefit of it is it kind of um, 
it's a base for like projecting your power out. So if you have them at the border, it gives you a modifier for being close to a city. I think we can see here. Yeah, plus two from cities. Yeah, plus three next to it. Plus two, plus one, and then zero. They're getting one because it's next to it here. So you can, if we placed a city right here, I think we would start pushing back their border due to the power it had. But I don't think we can place it right there, which is unfortunate. That would be quite nice. Um, what were we going to do? Are we going to do something over here, weren't we? Yeah, claim this per desert thing. I'm going to claim this now. We've got 35. It's 40 for an army. So, uh, are we actually losing money at the moment? At the end of the turn, zero wealth. Wait, are we making the zero money? Interesting. Can we... We'll see. We'll see next turn. We might be making zero money, which won't be, won't be ideal for us. Um, yeah, oh yeah, then these bonuses here, we can uh, buff how much power cities provide us. So again, you, you could push back the borders a little bit more and a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, we've got nearly all of this. We could increase this, we claim more desert. Now desert, I don't think is super good, but uh, we probably want to claim as much of this border as we can before these guys head south and take it from us. So I'm going to claim both of these. And then we might invest in some... Actually, yeah, let's take this rivers one as well. So we can move down the river a bit easier. And then we'll figure out some other ones here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll take these ones because they're super cheap. Actually, we'll take this one as well. And then I think I'll come all the way along this border here to stop them. Because I saw in a previous uh, previous game that they pushed over the, the, uh, the sea here and then built a city on this hill or here. And then they used that to basically kill me. <laughs> they basically just swept across the desert. So uh, I'm going to block that off now. That's some advanced knowledge that I have from my last game. I mean, they might not do the same idea this time, but uh, I definitely want to make sure they can't. So we'll, uh, we'll give that a go. They're having a little uh, decision down here. There we go. Blue team won this. I build a, I build a city on the desert. We get a yield tech for desert. That's probably really good, actually. There's three flags in the sea. All wait, you get all flag techs? Wait, what? That's a really good one. Um, so we get all of these. So then it would cost us hardly anything to expand further into the sea. That's really good, actually. Um, or build a city on the desert, and we'd get one yield tech for desert. Which is any of these ones, I think. No, yeah, yeah, any of these middle ones. I think these are the yield techs. This is the power tech and this is the flag tech. So we get one of these for free, which is pretty good because this is 187. It would make us way more food from deserts. And that's a lot. That's a lot of science. Like 187 is a lot. Actually, yes, yeah, the most expensive one, actually, I think. John, John let's, let's pick that one. Let's pick this one, and then we'll see if that's the case. If it doesn't mean that, it won't have been worth picking. But let's give it a go. Can we found a city? We need 28 food to found a city in the desert. So what we'll do is we'll claim one more here, and then we'll save the rest of the food, and then we should be able to build this next turn. Um, yeah, no, we are losing money. Yeah, no, this went down to 24. We could lower this. No, no, we, we want as much food as we can for expanding early game. So I guess we should try reduce waste on yeah i guess we'll invest money now to reduce the waste on gold and then hopefully before too long we'll get enough gold to like say get that um get that first army built uh let's do power from no let's not do that let's do we don't need to expand grasslands because there aren't any near us yeah let's do the let's do the ocean one we'll do that because obviously you pick them based on where you start. We want desert ones really over here. If you're up here in the mountains, you pick all the mountain-based techs for the most part to kind of help you. So we're just going to claim this one tile. Yeah, see they're already heading south here, so uh, we do want to block this off as soon as we can. Claim. Oh, we get 10 signs per city. Build a city on grassland. We're not going to do this, so we'll, we'll take writing. Um, because we will build a, um, actually, what did it give us? Ten signs per city. So yeah, if we build a city now, and then, um, oh no, yes, we do get, okay, no, it does give you any of these. Awesome. So yeah, we're going to get this tech, which, like I say, was one of the most expensive. Well, this one's 400 tech. That's, that's, that's a lot. 
Um, so we're going to do this. It's going to give us way more food, especially as we expand further into the desert. And then this will also, if we claim this now, 10 science per city. We could have waited till we built another city, but I'm just going to claim it now so we can get some more of these um, unlocks as soon as we can. So we have 40. Um, I'm going to pick up this because I want to expand into the desert a lot more now because we get that extra food per desert, which is a massive bonus compared to usual. And then power from desert. Now, power from desert seems good, but it isn't actually that useful for us because no one's here. So the power the desert creates in that area will basically do nothing. Uh, we probably want to pick power from like mountains or even sea tiles. Um, we want mountains. Yeah, because then we'll push into these mountains here. So let's pick this one for now. Like I say, may, may, may not be the ideal uh, solution, but uh, it's what we're going to do. Um, actually, I'm going to pick this up so we save even more. So now we've got barely any gold, but we're also have equal, you know, not equal. We're basically not losing any gold per turn. Have we got any food? No. So we can't expand any further this turn, but uh, we, we've got this finished. And then we can take the rest of this border here, the border coastline, and then we can fill out the rest of this if we wanted to. We should probably push into Arabia a little bit. Those three flags on hills get all flag text. That's so good. That's so good. I'm going to take this because I'm going to try push into here. Wow, we'll take this first, and then we're going to start moving into here. Getting all tech is just so good. Like, they're, they're, those cards are just OP. They're probably not OP, but they're really good. Um... Let's take these so it actually makes us a little bit cheaper. We obviously won't get the rest because this is going to give us to the... Yeah, give them to us anyway, so there's no point in buying them now to, to you know, get them free later. But I'll pick up the first one because it will make these initial ones a little bit cheaper. And uh, we'll take this one for the C, though, to make them a little bit cheaper for us. As you can hear, it's just like a bit of a melody playing, especially later on when there's a lot of flags going down. Um, has anyone got an army yet? Actually, we can't see. Build a city on a river. We, we might actually do that. Or claim per planes. We, we have quite a lot of planes. This would give us a lot of food. This would give us a yield tech, though. Actually, let's take this one. Yeah, we'll build a city down here somewhere. Or on the, uh, the delta here, I, I imagine. Right, let's claim this. Because then we've blocked them from set, uh, settling a city in our... Uh, in our desert here, in the Sahara. Uh, and then let's take these uh, hills down here. We finished this one, so we get all the flag tech. This has finished all this. It's going to make it even cheaper now for us to move into the rest of these mountains. Um, so obviously, if you were playing up here as um, the Assyrians, you'd take that early, and then you could grab all of these mountains really, really quick. Um, but let's keep going. Let's claim these water tiles. And we'll push up a little bit here as well. And then science. Yeah, we finished this. We probably want to take power from hills because we're going to be pushing up against these guys. So we probably want to boost that as much as we can. Um, power from planes. I mean, that'd be useful for this tile here, but nowhere else. I'm going to take it anyway. Let's take it anyway. And there we go. That's that turn. So as you can see, this is basically how the game plays out. Um, we haven't got armies yet. You'll see, I imagine somebody else will get an army soon. And then that's how you focus, push your borders and things like that. And, oh, there's also ships as well, which we'll see um, before too long, I would imagine. All river techs, uh, all river yield techs, halves the cost to move units in river. Hmm. That's not too bad, but if we're moving our army up and down here, we're probably going to lose anyway. So um, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Grow all your cities in one turn. We've only got two cities. And does this give us a... It looks like it gives us an additional city, maybe? I'm not actually sure what the reward is there. Maybe it ups your city by one tier. It might do that. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know if we'll have enough food. Oh no, we only have one... Yeah, this one's way too expensive. Um, kind of want to push into here and then place a city in this area if we can. So we'll do this for now. And then we're kind of pushing up against these guys. And then that's all our food spent. Yeah, we are earning... Uh, Oh, no, we do have some money. I uh, will keep this for now, because like I said, if we can get to 40 gold, that's going to help us uh, get that army, and then we can start pushing borders ourselves. And what do we want to spend? Power from cities. Like I said, that's not too bad, especially if we forward place a city over here. So let's pick that one up for now. We'll do that one for now. Yeah, see, look, he's heading south. 
<laughs> into our lands, or he would do. If we hadn't spread west, he'd be pushing up against us. He can still push our borders if he has ships. He can push our border back and then put an army or, you know, land an army and all that stuff. So um, something for us to watch out for. We get a free mountains uh, flag or hills flag, which would allow us to expand down here. All sea. Oh, yeah, again, house cost to move in. Oh, sea. Interesting. And we don't have any ships. There's no point doing this one. We'll pick this top one. We can claim this and we can immediately take this border uh, here. And then we want to take this one. And then we kind of want to found a city. We could found one down here in the hills, actually. Let's do that. And then we got a little bit of money. Like, do we spend money? We really need that army. That's the thing. Can we lower this? Okay, oh, let's lower this for like a few turns. We've got enough food. Yeah, we've got enough food for our, um, you know, populace and things like that. So uh, we could, we, we probably should have lowered this earlier, actually. Although we probably couldn't afford to at the beginning. So if we lower this, we should get enough money and then we can start getting our first army and then we can switch it back. Um, what else do we want to do? Money from hills. Well, we've got some hills. Actually, what have we got else that we could put money from? Money from the river tiles, that would would be quite useful. We have a lot of river tiles. I guess money from deserts is a hundred for the next tier. Hmm. Do you know, I might save I might, uh, do you know, I might actually save that for next turn and pick one of the more uh, expensive ones. So let's go. So we should pick up these two. Unless somebody matches it and then we'll have a little uh, decision. Oh yeah, there we go. They've got their first army. I think they're the only ones. No, these have got an army as well. So I'll show you that in a second. So we can claim a sea tile for free or own three cities on a river. Well, we're not going to do that. So <laughs> we're not going to have three cities on this river. So as you can see up here, this is what I was talking about with armies. Uh, they're at the border here. And this is like all wavy. So this means they're going to claim these two tiles probably next turn. And if you click this button here, you can see the effect. So um, the Hittites, which I guess are these guys. Yep. They've got two power here. They've got one from unit, one from tag. And the Mycenaeans have nothing combating it. So they're going to claim these next turn. These ones up here, they are getting it from. They've got plus one from tech. I guess because these are sea tiles. They must have some kind of sea tech that uh, pushes their borders um, on sea tiles without anything else being required. Yeah, they're getting it from a tech as well. Actually, yeah, they probably got... Uh, let's have a look. One of these? Yeah, they must have one uh, plus one power at sea. So this is automatically like pushing back if we were bordering them. But they're going to claim these two by the looks of it, unless their army moves here before the end of this turn. So yeah, we have some money, so we can get our first army. And we're going to put them on the border down here, and then hopefully we can show you how this works. And then, um, yeah, we want to do probably power from... Actually, do you know what? Let's do power from power at sea, because that's going to hopefully prevent them just pushing through our sea uh, really easily. So let's do this. Then we'll press the button next turn. Yeah, so you'll see it a lot more now. This is where the game really speeds up because um, you've got that early expansion phase and then this is going to be everyone just fighting each other for claiming land. So we'll see. Build a city five spaces away from your others. You get one uh, tier of city for free or double your knowledge yield and reduces waste. I'm going to pick up this one um, actually, do you want to remove... Yeah, John, let's remove this one. So we'll we'll pick up this one and we'll get rid of Harvest Festival because we've got three cities now. Being, being able to expand all three in one turn, unlikely anytime soon. So, yeah, we'll do that. And as you can see here, we're going to take this tile next turn if they don't do anything about it. Uh, we want to claim some more of this desert, though, so we can get the food from it because then we can lower how much money we're spending on food. Um, yeah, actually, we'll leave it like this. We're actually making a lot of money now, so that's pretty good. And we'll actually increase this as well, so we get more money from... More money from desert? Probably not. More money from grassland? No. More money from plains? We'll do that, because we'll get more money from all these plain tiles. And then, um, yeah, there's no point doing any more of these. Maybe... No, there's no point doing that. There's only one more tile left for us to claim down here. Uh, we've got some money, but we'll buy a another army before too long. In fact, we can buy one straight away now. Uh, mm, we, we probably should build a navy to stop these guys expanding through the seas much. Oh, we're going to have a little battle down here. We should win, though. Yep, there we go. Well, it's not a battle, but that's what I'm going to call it, where you kind of like dis 
figuring out who's going to get it. Oh, no threat hexes for one turn. You have 15 gold? I'm going to take this, because we shouldn't have anyone battling us unless uh, either of these two get an army, um, which doesn't look like they're going to. Build a, build a city on a river. I kind of want to do this, so we won't do that. Oh, we should just claim this sea captain one. We should have done that already. <laughs> on, let's just get rid of that other one we picked up. Um, I totally forgot to use this. Um, I'm going to claim this one here. We'll buy another... Mm -hmm. Do we want a navy? Project your power into own hex and Jason hex. Is it expensive to move across land or can only be built in coastal cities? Uh, actually, yeah, let's get a, let's get a ship. There we go. Choose a destination. Oh, wait. Can we not... Oh, why can't we go into this? Is it because we don't... Oh, we don't own any of these tiles. Interesting. Well, we'll buy one of those then. Actually, we'll buy a few of these. That's all That's all of them. And we'll buy this one as well. Uh, so, yeah. Well, then we get our ship on here and it'll prevent them pushing back our border on the, on the uh, Mediterranean. And then these guys. Um, let's go... Let's go here. Oh, we've got no food? Oh, we can't. <laughs> Run out of food already, so we can't move them anymore. I uh, will make uh, claiming tiles cheaper on the sea, and then we'll probably finish picking up flag techs, because, as you can see, the map's kind of filling out, so there's no real point for us doing it. We're going to do most of our expansion through armies. Wow, these guys up here have got two armies now. Oh, so have these. Yeah, we should probably pick up a, uh, a three-way fight here. Oh, no threat and text for three turns. 75? And I'm going to take this. There's a chance we might hit this. If they don't come down to us, we might go three turns without being um, fought against. Oh, it's 80 gold now. Okay, we'll get 80 gold and then we'll pick this up. We'll expand our border down here. We might build this city next. Um, do want, let's claim some more. I'm just going to claim as much as I can. And then we got some more tech. Let's go with power from rivers. Again, there's no point doing that. If it was up against another border, it'd be worth picking up. But, you know, if they're pushing us back here, we're, we're probably having a bad time anyway. Uh, let's go science from hills, because we've got a lot of hills down here. It's going to get us a bunch more science. And then, yeah, next time we'll pick up an army. And then I think we'll start buying these waste reduction things with our gold. Because then we can start investing more into getting more science uh, quicker, uh, which we'll probably do. Now, oh, 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 yeah, there we go. They've got a ship now, so they're going to try to push down this border. So good job we built a ship um, to prevent them doing that as much. Although I think they're expansionist. I think they get bonuses based on ships. Yeah, as you can see, they're going to push it back anyway. Own three desert, uh, throw own three seeds on a desert, get a free power tech. That's pretty good. Or if you have fifty gold, oh no, no, you can spend fifty gold and they will get fifteen gold a turn for seven gold uh, for seven turns. So kind of spend money now to get stuff later on. Um, we're not going to have three cities in the desert. I guess we'll do this one. No, we could actually activate that now. Ah, that's a lot. Do you know, no, we'll build the army first. And then we probably will... Did that not work? Oh, because I need to place it. <laughs> that's why. There we go. Um, and then we'll probably um, activate this card next time we have 50 gold. That's probably a good idea. Um, this obviously isn't going to trigger because these guys are pushing our borders back. So yeah, if we look at power, their ships have four power. And we only have two power from our Tekken units. So they're going to push us back a lot here. Unless, can we upgrade this city? Yes, this will help us push back against this happening. Um, we really need to get sea tech then that has power from sea. So we might actually pick this up next turn. If we can, how much uh, food do we? Uh, how much science do we make a turn? Uh, let's have a look. Forty. So next turn we'll have some. Yeah, so we'll do that next turn. Oh, we should have moved the armies. Totally forgot. Totally forgot to move the armies. That's annoying because we basically wasted a turn where we could have been pushing back borders potentially. I think they're going to take all this. Yeah, they can take all that coastline. Hmm, that's not good. All desert yield tanks halves the cost to move in desert. Well, we're not actually going to be moving in desert, so it's not actually useful as it would sound. Uh, own more armies than cities. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's take this one and get rid of this one. We might not do that. Oh no, we have three ar we have three cities already, don't we? And only two armies. Own more armies than cities. One, two, three. 
One, two, oh, armies and cities. Yeah, no, <laughs> we need four. It even tells you on the card, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to activate this uh, card. So we'll get, we'll lose the money now, but we get 15 per turn for seven turns. So you know, we will have more money in theory. You know, if we don't need the money immediately, we'll, we'll get more money over time. And then we need to probably invest in more... Uh, actually, I wonder if to invest in desert tech. Because that's going to prevent them pushing into our... Because if they get a foothold here, they can build a city, they can land armies there. You know, they'll, they'll be able to push us back a lot uh, from doing that. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll start working on these power techs. Because now we've got a lot of borders against us. We're going to have to watch out. They're going to be able to push us back quite easily. Right, let's move these... I think we'll move here and try push back some of this border. And then we'll probably come in and try take this land here, I think. They've only got one army. So I think it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, we'll wait for this because then we'll pick up a tech that helps us a bit more. We probably should have claimed some more of this desert, to be honest. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a, a, a battle here. Like I say, it's not really a battle because you don't lose your armies at any point. But, you know, kind of the balance of power is affected. Double your city population... <laughs> well, are we going to do that? We've got 18. Reduce any waste. That uh, gives you a tech for uh, a uh, policy change for free. Place 10 flags in one turn, you get one city upgrade. I think that's what it means. Or it means we can get a city for free. I don't think we'll place 10, 10 flags in one turn. Although maybe two. No, probably not. Oh, no, we did. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, so you grow a city for free. I think we might as well grow this one, because that's going to, again... Oh, no, look! No! They're going to they're gonna capture this next turn. Oh, no, can we get here? Oh, no, we got no food. <laughs> I totally didn't realise they'd come so... They were pushing into our city here. Oh, dear. Well. Well, then. Um, let's do this. And this. This is going to give us more food and more science, unless it goes to waste. Uh, we might lose this city. I don't know if the upgrade of the city will counteract how powerful they are. It did not. <laughs> it did not. We're going to lose this city. No. No. Yeah, see, that's the mistake we made. We should have invested into desert and city tech uh, for power way earlier. Uh, but it's hard. You've got to judge... You know, what do you want to expand and then figure out that bit later, or do you want to kind of turtle uh, up a little bit, which would definitely work as a as a um, a strategy? I think own the most river. That's very unlikely with the amount of rivers around here. Uh, none of these are good, but I guess we might as well pick one because you you can have three and then switch them out. Oh no! Look at this. Uh, we're gonna have to come up here with our armies and. Uh, stop this game, push back, and then hopefully take this city, because now they can spawn armies in here. They're going to be able to just come straight for us. Uh, right, we need to upgrade some of these tech. Yeah, power from desert we need. We need power from cities as well, I think. Um, so yeah, again, we'll save. We'll invest more into science. Next time we'll have 120 gold. Wow, we're getting a lot of gold. <laughs> Get a lot of gold from things. Uh, again, we'll do this and this. We want to get as much science as we can because we really need to start investing into some of these techs to prevent this from happening. I think we might be too late. Once they give up fighting these guys, they're going to be able to push us back a lot here. I think this is going to be a tie. Nope, they took it from us. Hey, wait, how does a ship take power? <laughs> How does a ship take desert tiles? Doesn't make sense. Conquer an island space. That's actually quite a good bonus. Grow a city to size 8. Mm, I don't think we'll do any of these, so we'll reject all of them. Yeah, see, look, their ships are so good. Plus 6 power from unit. So they've obviously focused on, you know, power from ships, which, I, like I say, I think is one of the things they have. Uh, I think it's one of their bonuses. Oh, I thought it... No, no, it does. Here we go, yeah. Flags cost one, uh, one food less... Flag technologies cost two. Oh no no no! They don't get a bonus on their ships. I guess they just invested in their the ship in the power bonuses um, from units. I know there isn't one for units. I don't think. 
No, power from cities. Interesting. I'm, I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up then as to how, how they've boosted these. Um, power from two units. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't actually looked into. So, um, like I said, this isn't a guide. I just kind of wanted to show you how the game plays because I think it's a pretty cool game. Um, it's kind of like a quick uh, strategy game that you can kind of play in like an hour and you'll be done. So this will be two parts, actually. It's going to take me, uh, yeah, probably about another half an hour, I think, to finish this turn, uh, finish this game. So um, I'll split this into two parts. Um, so, yeah, it's plus six from units. Interesting. I'm not sure how they're getting that. How much do ours give? Plus one from unit. Can we upgrade units? Do you know what? I've never actually looked. Well, that's not it. Can you upgrade a unit if it's like at home? No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, there must be a way to do it then. There must be something that boosts uh, unit power. I just don't know what it is. Yep. I'll probably look before the next. Oh, is it this? Maybe this helps. Wow, it's expensive. But we're still making gold, even if we do this. So, sure, let's do this and find out what happens. But anyway, we'll leave it there for today. If you've enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. Um, if you're new here and this is your first video, I cover strategy, grand strategy games on the channel. So, if that's your kind of thing, you know what to do. Subscribe. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days with the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, it's a pretty cool game. The demo is free. And you can play exactly what I'm doing now and the tutorial and all that stuff. So you can give it a try. And then if you enjoy it, you can pick it up in the in the sale. Like I say, when this video goes out, it is in the sale. Um, so if you are interested, you know, maybe pick it up, give it a go. Uh, like I say, it's it's pretty enjoyable. It, you know, I don't exactly know how to play it properly, but I'm enjoying my time here. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I'll see you in the next one.